watching NBC5 News at 5. Police in North Texas will be out in full force trying to crack down on what's become a growing problem in DFW. Automobile Club Auto Vantage ranked DFW number two right behind New York in a survey to determine the cities with the highest incidence of road rage. NBC5's Ashanti Blaze has more. The aftermath of a road rage incident can be tragic. As I see the bad side, probably more than anybody, an accident injury attorney sees the downside to these problems. A problem attorney Mark Anderson is seeing more and more of. There's more cell phones and now people are texting and reading e email on the cell phones. That's bad driving anyway, but it also makes other drivers mad. In fact, Auto Club Auto Vantage ranked DFW number two right behind New York for cities with the worst road rage or aggressive drivers. Tailgating, speeding, and distractions were key factors. It's why Mark has started targeting young drivers. If they sign the pledge not to text and drive, then we give them the bracelet, which will hopefully will serve as a reminder. The idea is to start early, instilling good habits through defensive driving instruction. The road rage situations happen because we as a driver believe that the other person did that on purpose to us, and then we become outraged. 13 years as a driving instructor gives Chad Henry a unique perspective on why North Texas is at the top of that list. Cars create this. Uh, ambiguity, uh, this giant circle of ambiguousness uh, around us. And with that, it's like a license for us to, to engage in bad behavior. The solution, in his opinion, it's the reality that no, they're just a bad driver. Or maybe that other person is having a really bad day. Is for drivers to switch gears and let the road rage pass. The hope is more Texas drivers focus more on actually driving their vehicle and less about what everyone else is doing on the road. In Dallas, Ashanti Blaze, NBC5.